Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, Israel's Elta Systems has been awarded a $55 million contract for the provision of multi-mode airborne radars to be installed on the Tejas light combat aircraft. The contract is a repeat order, as this radar has been integrated with several Indian platforms as part of modernization programs, including Mirage 2000 and MiG-21 fighter jets, and significantly it was also selected for the Tejas fighter jet. According to an expert, the United Arab Emirates has shown interest in the homegrown aircraft, due to the combined US-Russian and Israeli technology used in the aircraft. According to latest reports, the Indian aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya is set to sail for base and trials on 23rd October, after undergoing a five-month refit at a cost of 705 crore rupees. This was the second refit of the carrier since its induction into the Indian Navy in 2013, and both refits were performed by the Cochin Shipyard Limited. After this refit work, the carrier is not required to be dry docked for the next five to six years. The Navy is also looking at various options for berthing the vessel for its next major maintenance, and the normal refit would come around 2021. According to latest media reports, the US built radars for the South Korean Army's Apache helicopters have been unable to detect targets due to glitches in the software, and there is an absence of a naval detection capability. The radar failed to detect the number of targets, and it also failed to detect any target during a test over water. The Indian Army is procuring 1,770 next-generation future-ready combat vehicles, to replace the aging force of T-72 tanks. Indian Army is the largest operator of T-90 tanks from Russia, and is also very keen on procuring the T-14 from Russia. According to media reports, the T-14 will be built in India, just like the T-90 under transfer of technology agreements, but this time it will involve a private defense company in India. The chairman and managing director of Hindustan Shipyard has confirmed that an exercise has been launched to scout for collaboration with an internationally acclaimed company to design and construct five fleet support ships for the Indian Navy at a total estimated cost of 9,500 crore rupees. The shipyard will deliver the first vessel in four years from the date of signing of the contract and take up construction of other ships simultaneously. The National Security Guard has sought the intervention of the Home Ministry after the recent statement of the Governor of State, that there was no move to deploy the force in the valley. The Home Ministry has also taken serious note of Governor's statement, in which he also stated that the NSG was a specialized force, that could be only used in the needed situation.